Welcome to Crook and Kype Extra Innings as today the Giants lose and get swept by the fucking Marlins 10 to 8 in 11 fucking innings. Thank God this fucking first half of the season's finally fucking over. This is just a fucking awful first half and it's time to hit the reset button. And think of the second half as a whole new season. Thank God this fucking first half of the season's finally Oops. fucking over. This is just a fucking awful first half. And it's time it's yeah, it's time to hit the reset button. Maybe start fresh. Maybe even fire somebody. I wouldn't be I I think maybe you consider getting rid of maybe fire maybe scapegoat. Hansley Mullins here during the break instead of waiting till the offseason to fire him. Maybe try using Steve Decker as the interim hitting coach. Maybe try to get – maybe fire somebody. Hopefully that could help to jumpstart the Giants. Maybe, maybe we can get a good response by maybe a firing. Who knows? But it's it, – this has been difficult for Bochy. It's been difficult for everybody. Now you're really second half of the season. You're just hoping to, with the second worst record right now, the Giants are in a good position to get the number two draft pick. And they really need, now with Chase, Chase, Chase Hudley, that was not Chase Hudley, Nick Hudley, the way Nick Hudley's played today, I think Nick Hudley might actually have some trade value here before the deadline. And you have to really start looking at shopping some players. I think Nick Hundley could maybe bring you back a, a, a mid-level, low-level prospect. Try to get, get a couple prospects back for Eduardo Nunez. Try to get shop Denard Span. Try to get some prospects from him. Try to Cueto, you're going to have to get whatever you can get fucking get for Cueto. And you're going to have to you're going to have to take a hit, but he's he's got you can't get you can't afford to get fucking nothing for Cueto. You can't. You can't let him walk. You gotta get something. Something's better than a bag of shit, so... Something's better than a sharp stick in the eye, so... They really just need to take a real hard look here. Enjoy, enjoy the next few days off. But yeah, Cueto... Six run, earned runs, six innings pitched. That is not all that wonderful. But the bats were good today. Two for six out of Pent. Belt can, Belt's average is now up to 243, which is a, little, a lot more respectable at this rate. Hopefully you can get over the 250 mark after the break. Huang, maybe if Huang a day off. Or Wong, excuse me, give him maybe a day off on the next game. He's falling below the Mendoza line. And Stanton the Giant Killer, two home runs today. Contos. Con I just don't think Contos is a late innings pitcher. He didn't prove to me that he's a late innings pitcher. Not today. My brother went to the game today, and I was hoping to be able to yak with him. I'd like to see him become part of my panel here next week. I need to get some panelists. I'd really like to argue with some people on here, because they sure like to argue with me. But at this point, it's just time to call it a, call it a half and move on and start fresh in the second half of the season. And then now Matt Kane pitched out of the bullpen today. I think this is going to be a very interesting discussion here during the All-Star break on to who's moving to the pen between Matt Moore and Matt Kane. Or maybe Kane possibly goes and hits the disabled list for 10 days to get a break. Who knows? Who knows what's up? But we're, that's going to be the good part about about possibly after the break is that we are going to have Bumgarner start. So that's a real positive right there. So hopefully maybe Bumgarner can, but we're on pace to maybe lose one, maybe 110 games this season at this rate. 
think this could be the worst season in franchise history. Enough about the Blues. Let's go on. But yeah, we'll see what happens, and it'd be interesting to see how how well uh, bu- how rusty Bumgarner will be in his first game back. And it's likely Bumgarner is going to probably start the first game after the break. Try to get him back into a regular routine and stuff. At this point, who knows what's going to happen? It's it's just been a disappointing first half of the season. Time to move on. Let's go to other scores from around the league today. The Brewers beat the Yankees five to three. Your winning pitcher was. Jimmy Nelson, your losing pitcher was Masahiro Tanaka. Jonathan Villar went three for five in this game. And Tanaka got rocked for five earned runs in four and a third innings pitch today. And surprisingly, now the Brewers will go into the All Star break at a five and a half game lead over the Cubs. Who would have thought? Who would have thunk this this year? The Astros beat the Blue Jays 19-1. Brad Peacock was your winning pitcher. J.A. Happ was your losing pitcher. Happ got rocked for six runs, two earned, and four innings pitched. And everybody else was shittier than him today. Lucas Harrell allowed three earned runs, two innings pitched. Aaron Loop, four runs, three earns without recording a fucking out. Ryan Tapera, one, two earned runs and one inning pitched. Joe Biagini, four earned runs and two thirds innings pitched. And the bats were working today by the by the Astros. Three for four for Jose Altuve, former Fred, former Grizzly Carlos Correa, four for five today and is having a 325 average for the Astros at this point. This Astros team is going to be the team to beat here in the second half. The Steelers beat the Bears 14-3. Your winning pitcher was A.J. Shugel. Your losing pitcher was John Lester. And Lester got rocked for 10 runs. Four were earned. In, and he did not even get out of the first inning. He only pitched two thirds of an inning, and then got and pitched fifty three pitches in the first inning. That is not all that wonderful. And then Chad Cool, I think, left the game with an injury. Look that up. Well, he was just spot started, so he's a little gassed. So okay. But now the Cubs are five and a half games out of first place in the NL Central at this point, and they're going to have to be really active at the trade deadline. The Rays beat the Red Sox five to three. Your winning pitcher was Brad Boxberger. Your losing pitcher was Joe Kelly. Zhu Wei Lin went three for, for four for the Red Sox today. Steven Souza Jr. went two for three. And Kelly allowed two earned runs and one and two thirds innings pitch today. The Nationals beat the Braves 10 to 5. Your winning pitcher was Matt Grace. Your losing pitcher was Sean Newcomb. Newcomb allowed four earned runs and four innings pitched. 
and as the kids still have some learning to do. Joe Ross only survived three innings, allowing three earned runs. Grace allowed two runs, one earned. Ian Kroll, two earned runs and one third inning pitch for the Braves today. Sam Freeman, three earned runs and two thirds innings pitch today. The Phillies beat the Padres seven to one. Your winning pitcher was Jared Eikhoff, who got his first win of the season in his return from injury. Trevor Cahill was the losing pitcher. Eric Ibar went two for three for the Padres. Aaron Alther went two for three for the Phillies, as did Cameron Rupp. And lots of home runs in this game for the Phillies, since this was in Philadelphia. Phil Matten allowed two earned runs and one inning pitched. The Orioles beat the Twins 11 to 5. Your winning pitcher was Ubaldo Jimenez. Your losing pitcher was Kyle Gibson. Seth Smith went 3 for 4. Ruben Tejada went three for three. And Gibson did not even get out of the fifth inning today, allowing seven earned runs and four innings pitched. Bullpen was a much better. Tyler Duffy, two earned runs and one inning pitch for the Twins. Trevor Hildenberger, two earned runs and one inning pitch for the Twins. The Cardinals beat the beat the blank the Mets six to nothing. Your winning pitcher was Lance Lynn. Your losing pitcher was Steven Matz. And for the Cardinals, Tommy Pham went three for three. And Matz allowed five earned runs and four and a third innings in his first inning back from injury. The Angels blanked the Rangers three to nothing. Your winning pitcher was JC Ramirez. Your losing pitcher was Who Darvish. And Darvish just did not get any run support today. He pitched good. Two in two run earned runs in seven to third innings. But just didn't get the run support today. The Rockies beat the White Sox 10 to nothing. Your winning pitcher was Kevin Kyle Freeland. Losing pitcher was Carlos Ron Rodon. And Freeland almost had a no-no. And then I think on the like eight and two-thirds innings, eight and a third innings in, he surrendered his first hit, and then Lyles came in to close the game. But Rodon, six earned runs and five and a third innings pitched. Mike Pelfrey came out of the bullpen today and allowed three earned runs and one third inning pitched. Chris Beck allowed another earned run for the for the Sox. Gerardo Parra went three for five for the Rockies today. And on the other side of the bay today, the the Mariners beat the Angels four to zero. Your winning pitcher was King Felix. Your losing pitcher was Daniel Gossett. Carlos Ruiz went three for three today. And the A's only had two hits in this game. And Gossett allowed three earned runs and four and a third innings pitched. And John Axford allowed another earned run in one third innings pitched today.
And the Do L.A. Dodgers swept the Royals 5-2. to Your winning pitcher was Clayton Kershaw. Your losing pitcher was Danny Duffy. Eric Hosmer went 3-4 for four for the Royals. And Kershaw was Kershaw today, and it looks like he might be putting up another MVP season. The Reds beat the, the D-backs 2-1. to one. Your winning pitcher was Homer, Homer Bailey. Your losing pitcher was Patrick Corbin. And they wasted a good hitting outing from Chris Owings, 3-4. for four. And then Bailey, the pitcher for the Reds today, went two for three. And is hitting 400 as a pitcher right now. And today our buyers or sellers team is the Colorado Rockies. I think they are certainly going to be a buyer at the deadline. They are certainly going to look to add possibly an ace. They need a proven ace in the rotation in order to make that extra push for the playoffs since the Rockies are finally in the playoffs this year. We don't know what but they might go look for. They can target a Sunny Gray. Maybe Jose Quintana, but I think he's likely heading for Houston. Or they could, or if uh, Toronto makes Marcus Stroman available, Marcus Stroman might be a good option. Mark Estrada is another option. Or they could also look at Justin Verlander if Detroit somehow is willing to eat some of his salary. But that is your buyer or seller for today. Today down in the farm. The River Cats got clobbered by the by the Rainiers today, twelve to zero. Your winning pitcher was Christian Bergman. Your losing pitcher was Jose Flores. And Ryan Lawless went two for three in this game, but. Nobody's really shining right now in AAA. It's right now the farm's just not been all that great for the River Cats. And now they will get a week off this next week. They will be back next Monday to play the El Paso Chihuahuas for four. Who are the AAA affiliates of the San Diego Padres? And I think everybody in the Giants organization is ready for a break at this point. It's And Max Rossito is saying that the Giants don't sound convinced that they're going to trade Cueto. I think they need to. Problem is, the front office is just too stubborn. And if they... And if they don't, if they don't make any moves here before the deadline, I really think we are heading for a fire sale next year if things don't turn around next year. I think we really could be heading for a fire sale if they are, if they're not careful here. All right, and if the season were to end today. Look at the MLB site. Here's your standings for right now. Okay. 
And right now in the American League, if the season were to end today, the Red Sox would win the AL East. And your two wild cards would be the New York Yankees against the Tampa Bay Rays. The Indians would win the AL Central. And the Astros would win the AL West and would play the wild card winner between the Yankees and the and the Rays. And Cleveland and Boston would rematch in the ALDS. The Nationals would win the NL East. The Brewers would win the NL Central, and the Dodgers would win the NL West and would play the wild card winner between the Rockies and the D backs. They would be your two wild cards at this point. And you know what? St. Louis is. You know, I kind of had St. Louis to sell, but I don't know. We'll see what happens here after the break, but can St. Louis catch Chicago? That's going to get interesting. Chicago, St. Louis and Chicago are now tied for second at 43 and 45. If they can get a run going here before the deadline, they could, they could easily end up buying instead of selling. All right, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hopefully, I'll be back on air maybe later tonight with some, with a they might be Giants. See what possible call ups they might make during the second half and what to look forward to. Thanks for tuning in together with Giants. See you later tonight.